tired because I stayed up way too late watching Owning Manhattan on Netflix. Like, I am so obsessed. It's Friday morning. Welcome back to another weekend in my life in New York City. This is my last weekend in the city for a couple weeks because I'm going out east, as they say. I'm going to the Hamptons. I'm doing a Hamptons house with my friends Kelly, Seb, Maggie, Maria, their boyfriends, Ryan. It's going to be a time. There's going to be a lot of people out there. While we're there, I have some friends visiting on the weekends. Hopefully going to see Brooke while she's out there. Just all the things. Katie and Jack are going to come next weekend while we're there. So I'm really, really excited. Um, but I just like had this feeling where I'm like, I'm ugly, you know, like you have those things where I'm like, I need 1000 beauty treatments before I go to the Hamptons where, you know, like people are really up to date with what they're looking like. And, you know, I like, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, I want to feel cute. And so I decided this weekend is going to be dedicated to me preparing for the Hamptons. But I also have plans. Don't worry. It's not just like me planning. Like I'm doing things in the city too. It's going to be a very well-rounded weekend. I refuse to get hungover tomorrow because I have a friend's birthday party tonight. She's actually having her birthday party at Sweetie, which is a bar in the East Village that I had my birthday at two years ago. My New York City themed party. Uh, so I'm excited to go back. For makeup these days, I've literally been just doing concealer because foundation, like, it's just all melting off, honestly. And I've been really loving it. Anyways, we're starting off the day in a not-so-fun way, but I'm actually not as anxious about it as I thought I would be because, as you guys know, I have health anxiety, but at the same time, I also do not love going to the doctor of any form. I don't mind the dentist, but that's kind of about it. Like, I don't really... I mean, I don't know who loves to go to the doctor, but I just get a little nervous. I have started a journey because I honestly hadn't been to just like a regular doctor in a few years, which is crazy. So my therapist actually recommended I go to a functional medicine doctor. Um, so I'm going, I started going to one. She also does internal medicine. She does internal medicine, but she has holistic views. So like, instead of just putting a bandaid on something she says, she's like, okay, let's see what the root cause of it is. Um, so I just did like my first meeting with her checkup, if you will. And so she obviously ordered for me to get a ton of blood tests tests which I am way overdue for. I got like tested for my thyroid last year because I thought maybe I had thyroid issues. I do not. Um, but other than that, I haven't really gotten a blood test in like, I don't, I don't even know. Um, because one time when I was little, I had a terrible experience where they couldn't find the vein. And I'm someone like if I have a bad experience, even if I was a kid, like I just don't touch it. Like aka I don't eat seafood because I got really bad food poisoning when I was younger from seafood, from tilapia, which I know people are like, oh my god, it was tilapia. Like come on. But I just don't touch seafood now. So, you know, some things stick with me. Anyways, I decided, you know what? I could push off getting this blood test until after the Hamptons. But, like, it takes two weeks to get your results. I would like to know where all my levels are at. Like, because I take all these supplements and I need to, I should be checking, like, how my levels are. Like, if I need to be adding or taking away any supplements from my regimen. Like, you guys know I'm really big into supplements. I want to see what my cholesterol's at. Just, like, all those things. Like, I just need to be an adult. I'm 25 years old. And I'm like so freaking nervous, but at the same time, I'm not as nervous as I thought it would be. Like I'm just going to a little lab where they, my dad said it literally is so fast. They take your blood, you don't even know what happened, and then you leave. And I'm like, all right, dad, please tell me this is true. I'm so dramatic. I was like, Ryan, can you come? He was like, I have to work. And I was like, you know, it's probably better you don't come because then I'll make it a bigger deal than it actually is. Like, let me just go. On my way to record the podcast, which is what I'm doing, Brooke and I are doing a huge download podcast because we have so much to catch up on. So we're like, save it for camera. So we're saving it. I mean, we caught up a little bit with stuff that we like didn't want to say on camera, but like with like stuff that doesn't involve us. Yeah, so we're doing a podcast. So I was like, I'm just gonna pull a fast one on myself. Also, these road pocket blushes, this color, Spicy Mark is so cute. It is so good for summer. Ooh, I think I just put on a lot. So I was like, I'm gonna pull a fast one on myself and do it on my way to do the podcast like I just got to get ready a little earlier a little 9 a.m appointment get my blood drawn and I'm out of there I guess I'll have a band-aid on like I literally don't know the, the hardest thing for me is this fast like after 11 o'clock last night I couldn't eat which that wasn't the problem it, I wake up hungry and I want coffee like honestly I could do without food right now but I am dying for my decaf cup of coffee but all I can have is water so I think that's why I'm a little extra tie tie. I just like, I love waking up and making my coffee, but you have to fast in order for them to like properly, I don't know, get within your blood, whatever. So that's what's up. I feel like that was a really long intro, but yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. Getting some, getting a pedicure today. We're gonna do another hair treatment today that I'm excited to talk about. 
Um, but we'll get all into all that later. Um, but the most importantly is, welcome back to my channel. I love you guys. You guys really liked my vlogging like we're on FaceTime vlog, so this isn't necessarily that, but I'm trying to incorporate more of that like rawness into my videos because it was apparent that you guys woo, really liked them. Oh my God, what am I even wearing to the podcast? That's a question for later. It's also a rainy day, but I do love a cozy rainy day. That's what's up. That's what's happening this weekend. It's gonna be a good weekend and I love you guys for being around. Um, okay. Need to put on a lip. I'm wearing this off the shoulder top. Brooke and I have discovered that off the shoulder tops look quite good on camera. As for earrings, I always like to, when we're recording the podcast, I kind of like to wear a bolder earring for the same reason. Like it just looks good on camera and it kind of pops. I always wear these on the podcast, but they look so good. Where are these? We're gonna go these. We're gonna go big and bold. These are from, I believe, Whitney Dillon's jewelry line. I think it's called WM, but I also could be making that up, but she's an influencer. I really love her pieces. Oh, almost lost, lost the earring back. I don't wear my hair curly a lot because honestly, it stresses me out. I only wear it curly if I have my clip-ins in. Oh, by the way, I got a hair trim. I got a trim and I'm feeling really good about it and I'm just gonna be even more consistent with my trim. Do I need a necklace? Do I? I didn't even make my bed. These jeans are from American Eagle. They're so cool. You can like tighten them or loosen them as you want to fit on your waist so you don't even need a belt. We're gonna go no necklace because big earrings, you know? Something feels a little off about the outfit but the beauty of podcasting is all you're gonna see is up here. I put on these black ballet flats because I'm just Tired of wearing sneakers with every outfit. They're definitely comfortable for walking. Also, my hair is gonna look completely different as soon as we step outside. I can't wait. My little lab papers here. This bag from Mango is amazing. Literally so cheap on Mango. Abercrombie shirt, American Eagle pants, Franco Sarto black flats. Let's go get our blood drawn and then reward ourselves with a Starbucks sandwich. <laughs> Got myself a bacon gouda sandwich from Starbucks to eat after. This is so tempting. I'm so dramatic. <laughs> I was gonna get a coffee, but I didn't want to walk in with a coffee and people are like, this bitch. This bag literally fits so much. I mean, it probably doesn't look cute with it stuffed, but it's working for today. As expected, hair is already falling, but that's okay. There's just nothing grosser feeling than being in like humid air with like makeup on, but it did stop raining. So for that, I am forever grateful. <laughs> It was fine. It didn't hurt. It's just like the idea. I did not look at it. I did not. I don't have a fear of needles with like, but it's just something about the idea of what's happening. I just don't like to look at, but now I've got my sandwich. I'm going to go get a coffee. I feel like a little kid when I would go to the doctor and my dad would let me like go to Chick-fil-A and then I would bring it to school and be like, yeah, I was just at the doctor. It was like a flex or something. This is hitting so different right now. From one Starbucks to another, now I'm gonna go get myself a coffee from the Starbucks Reserve. The podcast episode went well per usual. I'm gonna heat up a little lunch. I have leftover beef and broccoli that I made last night. I do like a ground beef and broccoli situation with some soy sauce and sesame seeds and some salt and pepper. And it's like super protein heavy, super filling. Sometimes I add rice, like for dinner last night I added a little rice, but I'm not starving. I just need something, so this is perfect. So it's kind of time to start doing the glow up situation. So yesterday I went and got my nails done. I go to Nails by Me. 
um, M-I or Mickey. Mickey Nail Co. on Instagram in Lower East Side. I wanted to do chrome, of course. I've like not not done chrome since like Hailey Bieber made it popular. Like I love chrome so much. I think it just makes everything look even better. These are my real natural nails. So I just did a one coat of a super light pink, like strawberry pink. And then we just did the pearl chrome on top. Really happy with that. Just put on my flip flops because we need to go get a pedicure. My little Javianas at the square toe. I bought these because of Pookie, honestly, and they're so cute. They're very flattering. I have red toes right now. And I kind of like loved how they look. Like I might do red again. I think I might do red again. Maybe I'll do more of like a red, like a orangey red, like a little more beachy fun. Or I do like that blue color, like um, what uh, Bikini Sotini from Essie, like something like that, like a purpley blue lavender color. I like that a lot as well. So I'm gonna get a pedicure. My car also just got dropped off. You guys, can we take a second? A Volvo. Volvo, the car that I drove, that was my first car ever, my only car, my Volvo XC60. Volvo has finally noticed me. <laughs> well, I reached out to them, honestly, because I'm obsessed with them. And they're loaning me a Volvo XC60, the car I drove. I mean, obviously the way newer version. Mine was like 2015. This is the 2024 or 2023 Volvo XC60. They're loaning it to me for two weeks while I'm in the Hamptons. Like, I feel so lucky, so blessed. Like, I can't wait. And they dropped off the car at a parking garage near me so that on Monday when I head out, I have my card. I'm so excited. And like, I don't need to go look at it now. Like I just need it for Monday. And that they dropped it off today because they can't guarantee what time they would give it to me on Monday. And like, if I'm trying to get out kind of early, like, you know, but like, I want to go see the car. So I don't know if it's weird to bring the, cause they sent me a photo of the ticket, like the parking ticket. If I can go be like, hi, I just want to like come see the car. I guess I could lie and be like, I just need to get something out of the car. The car is completely empty, but I might go see it and I'll vlog it, don't worry. And I also want to get some more packing done. I have a birthday party tonight. And then later tonight, we're getting a Brazilian blowout. I'm so excited. Um, I'll get more into that later and why. I'm trying to do it like step by step. But I'm going to eat my lunch and then we're going to go get a pedicure. I took off all my makeup because I hate to just have on makeup and I'm gonna redo it later. Um, we are gonna go for a walk. My walk might be painful because I have a huge tote bag of all my stuff to get ready with because I'm gonna get ready at Delaney's apartment, which is always fun to like get ready with someone. I'm headed to my girl Mad's hair. We're going to Rulon Salon. I'm getting a Brazilian blowout treatment. Um, this is not my natural hair texture. My natural hair texture has been quite wavy recently and I hate doing my hair, especially in the summer. And then I saw Kate Bartlett did a whole TikTok about how she actually went to Rulon Salon, where I go, and got a Brazilian blowout. And it really helps with your hair's texture and frizz and everything during the summer. It doesn't last forever, um, but it's not bad for your hair either. I've done something similar like once or twice before, and I don't know why I haven't done it again. So we're gonna go do that. I think the process is gonna take a while. I have a 5.30 appointment. I'm gonna attempt to walk there. I say attempt because it's a 30 minute walk really hot out and I have my bag with like my makeup and stuff in it and like my boots I'm wearing tonight and everything like that so we'll see I might hail a cab halfway through we'll, we'll see what happens but we're gonna go I'm wearing a little outdoor voices exercise dress got my tote bag and drink and element sparkling water on my way yeah like I have like my purse sticking out that I'm using tonight because I'm gonna go to Delaney's house and we're gonna get ready and we're gonna go to dinner at this place that we've both been wanting to go to for a long time called Lucian in the East Village um, because then my friend's birthday party that she's having is at in the East Village as well as at a bar called Sweetie. And then like an after party at bar TBD. So big East Village night tonight. My outfit is so honestly extra, but like I just, it's like a black mini dress with black boots, which I know is so not summer, but like in New York, anything passes and it makes me feel cute. So I'm excited to have my hair done, but then after my hair, I'm gonna go and get ready to laying. So that's the plan, but it's round two of glow up after the pedicure, or round three, pedicure, manicure. Now we're doing Brazilian blow, blow out and I cannot, Wait, what I'm most excited about is my lash lift on Sunday. Like, where are my lashes? I don't know. They're there, they're just not lifted.
tucked my eyes. She was like, if you want, we could shampoo your hair again and then blow it dry so it's more of like the blowout look. I was like, let's leave it sleek and straight. Why not? I'm wearing like a black dress tonight. Um, but that was so easy. I was in there like an hour and a half. Not She said it would be two hours, but it wasn't that long. I'm used to being there for hours doing color and it's supposed to really help keep your hair strong. So I'm excited. Guys, okay, so Delaney just moved and oh my God, look at for one thing I love. This hat rack. Where'd you get it? Amazon? Amazon. It's so cool. No, I got more because I wanted to do the purses there, but I think I'm going to do a mirror there, actually. Ooh, a mirror would be nice. There's so much storage really in this apartment. And then, guys, look at her freaking cute desk. And then I go, you have the crisscross chair. She's like, what? She's like, I do sit crisscross. And I was like, I've seen this all over TikTok. And this desk, is, I love the, everything about this setup. It's very relaxing. The candle, everything, like so much storage. I can't get over it. I think I'm gonna put a TV there eventually. But oh yeah, to, to come. And then her bed with the exposed brick. Like her last apartment, if you remember from her Amazon covered, had exposed brick in the living room. But this has it in her bedroom too. It's so beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy for you. This is so beautiful. Okay, here's the outfit for tonight. This dress is lioness. Boots. My hair is so straight. And then, which it won't be like this. Next time I wash it, it won't be, but this is like with the treatment in. Some earrings. Delaney is just looking so cute. I love it. It's an LVD. Dance the night away. It's so much fun. Our feet are dying. Blisters are coming. Blisters are in route. <laughs> My hair's still so straight, which is so crazy because it would totally be super frizzy by now. Oh it's so straight. Love you. Oh my god! Hi. Thank you. I've been my vlog for years. <laughs> Hot girls go to the bodega. Yeah, buddy. Good morning. I don't know what's happening to my hair, but my head is growing. Like it's taller in the back. <laughs> I don't know if it's the way I slept or what, but literally look at, besides whatever is happening back there, my hair is so straight upon waking up. Like usually when I wake up, my hair is pretty crazy. I also just bought silk pillowcases. I've had them in the past and then like I don't use them. So I just bought two matching silk pillowcases because I didn't like how I just used like one silk pillowcase for me and then it didn't look right on my bed how there's one silk pillowcase. I'm crazy. So I bought two matching so I would actually use them. Last night was so much fun. I had the best time. Um, it was so fun. We like, it was, Sweetie's fun because there's like a true dance floor and everyone was dancing. The DJ was crushing it. And then Delaney and I went to a bodega, as you guys saw, got some food. We watched some summer house and then I overed home and I was like, I'm not gonna set an alarm. I obviously didn't set an alarm, but I still woke up at 8.15. But the difference was I didn't get right out of bed. I just stayed in bed for about two hours, an hour and 45 minutes laying down, going on my phone, going on TikTok, just like doing whatever the heck I wanted. Cause even when I was in Illinois and like Florida last week, I would like wake up and felt like I had to go outside right away to like be with the fam, which I'm glad I did, but you know. So it's nice to just have uninterrupted me time and no alarm and not have to go anywhere. The only thing I have today is my dear friend's um, engagement party, which is so exciting. It was supposed to be at Central Park, like a little Central Park picnic. And now it's raining today, so they moved it to their apartment. Um, so I feel bad for them, but it's still gonna be so fun. It's one of Ryan's good friends from high school that moved here around the same time as us to New York. So we've became, well, Ryan was always close with him, but I've become close with him and his now fiance. We've done a lot of like double dates and stuff. So we have that engagement party at 3 p.m. But other than that, I got nothing. I might get dinner with my friend tonight, but I don't think there's any more drinking in my weekend for me and I'm really happy about it. Um, I'm gonna make my coffee and I really wanna sit on my couch and watch Owning Manhattan. I'm like obsessed with this show right now. I've watched like three episodes of Owning Manhattan. It's so good. I just, I love real estate. I love seeing apartments, especially in New York City. So this is just so fun for me. Um, we're gonna make breakfast. And I don't usually do this on the weekdays, but 
We're going waffles. We're going with these buttermilk protein waffles from Whole Foods. I thought that would be a fun little treat for my Saturday. Make some eggs as well. Do I not have, okay, I was like, I swear I just bought eggs. So we're gonna scrambled eggs and protein waffles. That sounds incredible. We've got the eggs, a little salt and pepper. Waffles fresh out of the toaster with some syrup, but I don't. I'm gonna eat the eggs first and then this because I do not like, I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like when my syrup touched my eggs. And I also washed some berries. I'll have some berries. Look at that. How yummy. I'm trying one of these lemon curb gummies. They're soft cheese. They are so good. You can only have one a day. They look like that. I just had to say that. I've watched enough Only Manhattan for the day. They're very chewy. <laughs> I can't get over how straight my hair is. Anyways, we're gonna clean. My kitchen's a little bit of a mess. My bed needs to be made. Going to the Hamptons on Monday. We have things to do. glow up. I, when I was doing my makeup at Delaney's apartment last night, her lighting was just a little too good and I just saw all of my imperfections. So we're gonna dermaplane. Um, I used to just dermaplane on regular skin, nothing on it. And then I realized it's kind of crazy and most people use oil. So I'm using this Summer Fridays oil, which is arguably a little too thick for this. It needed to happen. The oil kind of helps it glide along the skin. Ah, there's so much hair. These are the these are the tinkle razors from Amazon. They're quite gentle, but they also still actually work. I've bought some in store before, at like drugstores, and they do not work nearly as good. There's so much hair. I might need to go to the mirror in my living room because I need like that sunlight lighting so I can see everything, but I just feel everything picking up. It's a very satisfying thing. Ugh. So I had to come out here to finish it, but my skin feels so smooth and soft. It makes it makeup application so nice. It's kind of hard to get the hairs here with that tool and I don't want to like scratch myself. So it's definitely still a little like peach fuzzy here, but peach fuzz is also normal. I just wasn't loving all the little baby hairs. I want to get that thing on TikTok. It's like that white spray that you spray on your face and it shows all the hairs. <laughs> but also might be a little humbling. I don't know. Next up on the docket is something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time, and I finally bought it. This is the Guru Nanda pulling oil. It's coconut mint. This is like called oil pulling for your teeth. Um, and it's, an, this is an Ayurvedic formula. It's 5,000 years old plus um, holistic health science. Um, I think this is supposed to make your teeth whiter. Traditional benefits of oils, fresh breath, Ayurvedic dosha cleansing, helps improve oral hygiene and helps support healthy gums. I also thought it like made your teeth white, whiter. Am I making that up? I have to learn, oh, and it comes with, I think this is a tongue scraper, yeah? And a toothbrush. Directions. Place 10 to 15 milliliters of Guru Nanda pulling oil in mouth. Gently swish between teeth for at least two minutes. Try to work up to 10 minutes. How can you breathe? Like literally, how can you breathe? What? Do not swallow. Always brush your teeth after. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna give these a go. We'll 
We'll see how long I can swish it for. I'm gonna vlog this on my feet. Cheers. says to brush your teeth okay thank god they put mint with the coconut oil but like it's not terrible because it's a very minimal taste but it's also like not the best and now you brush your teeth it also came with a tongue scraper so i might as well i'll do this off camera it's pretty gross oil pulling and dermaplaning is done i just had a cottage cheese it was so good i talked about this on the podcast but my dad sent me not this bag but he created a little hangover kit for me after he saw me after 4th of July. <laughs> um, so these are all things he wants me to take, or two of these things to take like right before going to bed after I've been drinking and then, then Pepto-Bismol for obvious reasons. Um, this is liposomal glutathione. And then this is NAC, whatever this is. So he said, make a little bag, put these all together and bring them to the Hamptons. So. I'm doing that. Divi sent me a cute little PR package, so I'm using the bag they sent me. I also need to refill my supplements for the next two weeks, really, so I have some done here. Um, so I'm just going to bring both of these and that'll get me through the two weeks. And then I probably should start getting ready for the engagement party. I feel bad. It's sunny out now. I haven't been outside today and it's no longer raining, so I feel like we need to do that. Um, I'm just going to go for a quick little walk going to the grocery store to get ingredients to make dog dip, which is basically, it is buffalo chicken dip, um, but Ryan calls it dog dip because we usually have it on game days. However, the couple that got engaged, one time we brought dog dip over to their house for I think like Super Bowl or something and they loved it. So I said to Ryan, I was like, instead of like bringing a bottle of champagne, what if we make dog dip? And he loved the idea. So I said, I will go get the ingredients because he's actually touring apartments today. Um, before we go So I'm gonna go get those ingredients maybe get a little coffee on my way back or I'll make it here Okay, here are all the ingredients um, Usually I get to Tostito scoops, but they didn't have it So I made sure to get um, chips that you can dip because when they're thin like they just don't even pick up any of the dip Got a rotisserie chicken, which is the most tedious part me and Ryan now have to pull each piece apart Sometimes they sell pre-pulled rotisserie chicken and I've done that before, but they didn't have it. I also forgot, it's very hard to find Texas Pete hot sauce in New York. It's not in a lot of grocery stores, so I order on Amazon. So this is my personal one that I'm gonna have to use. This is like the biggest ingredient, I would say. So Ryan, and I was like, Ryan, is there another hot sauce we can use? And he was like, no, simply no. So he's gonna bring his personal hot sauce and we're gonna combine them and hopefully it's enough because you need one full 12 ounce bottle and then sharp cheddar on top and then 16 ounces of cream cheese. So yeah, he'll be here soon, but while he's on his way here, I'm gonna start getting ready so that when he comes here, I'll be ready and we can make this and go. I also just unboxed some things from Amazon. Um, like I said, I got these two satin pillowcases, so I'm gonna put these, or should I bring them to the Hamptons? Is that crazy to bring my own pillowcases to the Hamptons? Maybe I should. I probably should since like my hair is super fresh now with this Brazilian blowout. These are my favorite scrunchies, either the silk slip ones or like the slip brand or these, um, what is this called? Kitsch, um, the black scrunchies, I just love them. I got another mini Caudalie Beauty Elixir, I put this in my makeup bag, and then look how cute these Pilates socks are. They have little grippies on the bottom. This is such like a little aesthetic haul. I feel like such a little clean girl aesthetic, but definitely I'm not. I'm getting ready right now, but Ryan just FaceTimed me and he found the Texas Pete hot sauce, so I don't have to sacrifice my own. And then Katie Pilates just texts <laughs> me. Just ran into Ryan. He had a lot of sauce. Haha. -ha. <laughs> he must have bought a lot of bottles. It is so funny. Okay, we got cream cheese in here. Chicken is all pulled. Now we're gonna pour a full bottle of Texas Pete. Nice job, Ryan. And I got this. My mom's boyfriend got this Yay! for Christmas. Yay! And it has all these different attachments. And one of them is a mixer, which is perfect for this. Done. Now we put the chicken in, which is the most satisfying pot. I think they're gonna be so excited, I hope. We're arriving a little late, so hopefully people are hungry when we get there. They're like, hey, we're late, but we brought dog dip. <laughs> <laughs> How are we gonna get, just 
just sit with it on the lap. I have aluminum foil or so. Yeah, what's up? Oh, it's gonna be hot on it the be lap. Very hot on the lap. I don't know what to do about hot on the lap. I think we just suck it up. I mean, I have like cardboard boxes and stuff you can put on. Okay, can you get the dish? So we now put this in a dish, put it in the oven for 10 minutes, and then take it out, and then put a layer of sharp cheddar cheese on top, and then another 10 minutes. And it is just so good. I feel like I always say these instructions in it. Oh, Ryan's shirtless because <laughs> he's hot. He mm -hmm. walked here. Sure, wait, wait, let me clean it first. Oh, actually. yeah, that's a good call. It smells so good. Now we have the full bag. This is not a healthy snack, by the way. <laughs> the no. full bag of sharp cheddar, a whole layer on top, and then put it in for another 10 minutes. Oh my God, it's so good. Like, I honestly can't believe it's a meal or a, a meal. It's not a meal. <laughs> it's not a meal. I can't believe it's a dish, a dip, if you will, that I enjoy because I despise cream cheese, but it's like mainly cream cheese, so, and chicken, and, but it's better. It's good. I'm very happy Ryan introduced me to this, so put it in for another 10 minutes, let it melt in, and then we're going to somehow transport it without burning our laps in the car because yep. we didn't want to, we wanted this to be a surprise, so we didn't want to like ask them to turn on the oven. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Ryan, set another timer, please. And here is my outfit. I'm like definitely overdressed, but what's new? It's just comfy. Maybe I can switch to sneakers, but dress is from the brand Waif. I got it on Shop Up. J. Crew necklace. Necklace from my collection with electric picks. Earrings are Primark. Regular jewelry. And then my Dolce Vita shoes. Okay, it's done. Hallelujah. About to head over. We're also both not drinking, but we're bringing some LaCroix, Poppy. I'm gonna try the Poppy Cola. I've actually never tried it and I'm in my Coca-Cola era and Ryan chose the tall boy line one. So let's go. The party was fabulous. I'm in like my seventh outfit of the day. It's not a set, but I think both items are from Halara. It's just like a little tank, skirt, Got my sneakers on. I'm gonna go for a sunset walk with my friend Mary Steven, drinking an element. And then I think Ryan and I are gonna see a movie tonight, I'm not really sure, but it's seven o'clock. So a nice, wholesome Saturday night, we love it. I just showered. We walked five miles, you guys. It's the best when you have so much to talk about with a friend. You just walk five miles. She looked down her Apple Watch. She was like, you know, we've got some mileage going. Naturally, for dinner, not chile. For dinner tonight, we're doing my Rayo's meatballs and then my green beans. So that's my dinner tonight. It's honestly, so, it's almost 10 o'clock, but like this on, all takes like 30 minutes because a little less than 30 minutes because it's like 20 minutes for that and then five minutes for that. So I'm really hungry, needless to say, but I'm so cozy in my PJs. It's a Saturday night. Ryan and I were gonna go to the movies and see the new um, movie, Fly Me to the Moon, with Channing Tatum and Scarlett Johansson, but I didn't walk in the door until 9.15. Our walk went longer than expected. I just like wasn't looking at my phone. And Ryan's like, that's honestly fine. Like I'm down to chill, stay in tonight. We have like two weeks ahead of us in the Hamptons, like I keep talking about. So um, I was not complaining. I showered and put on my pajamas. So when I eat my dinner, he's walking over now. And then we're gonna have a productive. I'm doing another appointment tomorrow. I've got a workout class in the morning with my friend. We love that. Morning guys, it's Sunday and I'm a little sleepy. I could not fall asleep last night. Um, but regardless, we are up, it's 9.15, and I am headed to meet Colby to try a new workout class. We're going to a class in a studio in Tribeca called Dance Body. I've done like similar things. I think it's like dance cardio sculpt, um, but we're just gonna dance. I think it's 45, 50 minutes. Um, I gotta like wake up for that though, so I'm making some toast, and I'm gonna have a hard boiled egg as well. Bring this little outfit. Ryan's still asleep. I'm so jealous. <laughs> but once I get outside, I'll be so happy. Like, I already know it. So. I know. Hey, do you need to the Hamptons? 
Guys, I'm with Colby right now, Hi. and we're talking about owning Manhattan because I'm obsessed. And there's Sir Hant office. Wow. We're gonna, apply to we're gonna go apply to be top brokers in New York City. <laughs> Slipped in tent. My normal lash girl's out of town, so I'm gonna go to this place. My friend goes, so I'm hoping. So, this is the before major glow up moment is about to happen, like truly. After, they look so much better. I'm so happy. She did it so fast, too. Okay, I've packed a lot for the Hamptons as the week has gone by. Um, but oh my gosh, my lashes. She's back. It's just like the littlest of difference. I don't want to shower yet because I'm like in work mode, but I'm also cold because I keep my apartment freezing. I already have a whole suitcase full of stuff <laughs> that I'm packing, but I have some more things that I want to pack that I've bought prior to. I'm so excited to go to Hamptons. Can you tell? This is a dress I bought on sale on the Moda Operandi sale at Cedrus. It is so cute. It's like a strapless, colorful dress with like a little necktie. Like this is a surf lodge possibility. I don't even know if I'm going to surf lodge. I but anyways, oh, and then this dress. Oh my God, what's this brand? I think this is also Cedrus or no, maybe it's Alexis. Yeah, it's Alexis. I like have been eyeing this and I was like, I need this for summer. Brat summer, not actually, but beautiful chevron print halter top dress. Going for some color. Oh, I have to bring this. This is, um, I have the matching swimsuit to this, which is fun. I also need to bring hangers. I have so much clothing that I wanna bring, but like it's fun to have options and we're there for two weeks and you never know what we're gonna end up doing while we're there and we're driving so I can pack as much as I want. I wanna bring this dress. It's uh, by the brand Sir. It's like this beautiful linen dress. This dress is meant to be worn in the Hamptons, so that's coming with. Always oh, nice to have like a chill, just white. Actually, I'm bringing something so similar, but this is a good dress to bring too. You guys are like, you're bringing your whole closet. Yes, yes I am. Oh, I just got this dress too. <laughs> I love it so much. It's also by the brand Alexis. I got it on Shop Up, I think. And it has this really pretty, it's strapless, but it like goes up and it's a drop waist white dress. I love drop waist right now. It's so beautiful. I need to bring this. This is a really nice just like cover up. It's just like a chill white dress that I usually like this is good for going to the beach. Clearly I like white. <gasps> I have this dress by the brand PH5. They've been kind of popping off. It looks so good on. Like a little, I can't believe I liked it cause it's like pink and brown, kind of random for me. Don't wear this color palette a lot, but it, it, it fits like a charm, a charm. And you know, someone always ends up like, we all like borrow each other's stuff, like maybe someone needs something. I'm gonna bring that same white dress in black because I love it that much. And then I got this from the brand Lioness. It's like a little halter top, kind of sheer. You wear it like a black bathing suit underneath as a cover up or you can go out in it, whatever you prefer. I think that might be it because I already had a few things pulled aside already. Now for shirts, for tops. I usually end up just wearing like dresses, but oh, I love this top. It's just like a white off, um, strapless shirt from Aritzia that I definitely should bring. It looks really nice with skirts, pants, a gold day tank always. God, I'm gonna have way too many clothes with me, but I just need options. Like I don't want, I don't think I'm coming back here. And I like to film like fashion videos when I'm out there, like little lookbooks maybe. We'll see what I get into. I feel like I should just bring like a white button down. I feel like that would look nice with a bathing suit. Just something to throw over. This one's more oversized, I like this one. Ryan's probably gonna have like one little suitcase. <laughs> but you know what? I love fashion. I really feel like I do need to bring this. Okay, <laughs> that's enough of that. I think I just got pull happy because I was pulling everything with you guys so I'm like, on camera doing stuff, but 
Hamptons, let's pack. I am bringing so much jewelry because it's summer, it's fun, it's fun to accessorize. I'm really into like simple style, but dressing it up with jewels. So I'm about to put all of this in here, which fits more than enough. I've got this for my hair tools. I've got this for my sunglasses. Like we are ready to go in this bag. I have pajama sweatpants workout outfits and this is all of my like pants shirts dresses like all there this will just be as much as I can fit like accessories wise and then <laughs> there's no way my shoes are fitting in there so yeah but it's okay like I said I'm driving I have my own car but like I am bringing a lot of shit the vibes in here are pretty immaculate got chill summer lo-fi on YouTube playing it was just Jade rolling did a face mask I made an iced coffee I actually need to show you guys. I used the Keurig new brew and chill machine, which literally the coffee came out so cold. Like it's incredible. And did you guys know they have iced coffee specific pods? Like that's genius. Ryan always loves iced coffee. So he's been loving this as well. But we'll do a little update on the packing here. Pretty much done. I have a lot of stuff. I know, I know. This is my random, it's actually kind of satisfying. My miscellaneous, bag like I'm bringing my I literally ordered mom waters to the house because I love them so much and this keeps them super cold bringing this for the house like a huge super goop my silk pillowcase bala bangles more Keurig pods hot sauce in case Ryan and I want to make dog dip I'm bringing let me chill let me sleep tons of sunscreen this is kind of like the fun random bag this is like all my beauty stuff I'm literally bringing like full-size stuff for my shower because I can um this little beautiful beach bag here with my hats and sunglasses in there because I don't want them to get crushed I could probably close this up I'm just finishing up a little laundry and then I can truly um close up those suitcases and I'll just wear something that uh, is not in the suitcases tomorrow for our drive, but I'm so excited. Obviously charging up my Kindle. I plan to listen to listen to read the next Mrs. Parish because the last Mrs. Parish is so good. And I'm also charging up a little speaker because you gotta bring a speaker. Also doing a ton of charging. I'm like charging my AirPods. I finally got one of these portable fans. So I'm charging that up to bring to the Hamptons. Um, charging up my camera battery. I gotta say, Apple continuously switching up the cords or like the USB is really annoying, but USB-C is way more universal. I'm able to charge all of these things right here with this. Open my balcony door for a little fresh air. It's not super hot out today, actually. I'm still playing the chill summer lo-fi. This time of day is honestly when I love my apartment the most. Like, it's just such a vibe in here. I am sad to be leaving this place, but I am excited for a new one too. Tonight's dinner is called cleaning out the fridge. So I'm gonna do my recent favorite fixation salad, which is this Italian mix from um, Whole Foods. Got a cucumber I'm gonna cut up, some tomatoes, pepperoncini, and then <laughs> the thing with Whole Foods um, delivery is if you don't answer their text in a certain amount of time, they just do a replacement. So I had like grilled chicken bites and they must have not had them and so these are chicken dino bites which i'm not mad about at all but that's why that's that and then i'm gonna use some of this primal kitchen greek dressing because i'm literally bringing my um good seasons italian dressing to the hamptons so i have the bottle and like the powders like packed away i didn't want to make a new one just for tonight so i have this which i also really like um so yeah, that's me, my little salad, and then I'm gonna turn on Owning Manhattan and just be so happy watching it. Decided to do my planner tonight rather than tomorrow morning so I can wake up and get stuff done. Sometimes I do that so I go to bed knowing like what tomorrow's gonna look like. I was just preparing myself some chamomile tea. Nothing, oh, I just feel so put together when I've cleaned, I've packed, I've done all the things and then I make myself some tea. It's like a nice reward, it soothes me down, kind of means the night is ending. I can finally wind down. Did all my dishes, all the things. So I'm crazy and I'm bringing like a really mini Keurig to the Hamptons with me. I bought like one of the $50 small ones and I'm bringing it because I'm 
that much of a Carrie fan because <laughs> I love my morning routines and I really want to bring my Ember mug, but that's just a little extra. I'm gonna not, but I just love how hot it keeps my coffee in the morning. You know, it'll be hot enough out there that I feel like I'll have my coffee outside and I probably won't want it steaming hot. I don't know. But yeah, I've got my tea, which means the evening is coming to an end. I'm over here watching Owning Manhattan. I'm sad. I think there's only 10 episodes and I'm on episode seven. But honestly, I might just finish them all tonight because I don't think I'll be watching this. Like we'll all be watching TV together and stuff in the living room. So I might just finish it all tonight. We'll see what happens. Well, I finished Owning Manhattan. Now I've just been playing this. Uh, this is called Elegant Jazz Evening in NYC Luxury Bedroom 4K Relaxing Music. I was just winding down to a little bit of that. I gotta figure out what to do with these playbills, you guys. You can't see them, but I want it to be something that I can constantly add to them. I have no idea. Blow out this candle. And bring all the, the beverages here. Blow out this candle. And I will see you guys in the morning. It's a very exciting day tomorrow. Not only are we going to the Hamptons tomorrow, something else is happening. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. So, so excited. I'm not moving in until I get back from the Hamptons, but need to get measurements, need to plan things out. I'm gonna get the Wi-Fi all set up. Um, I wanted a little bit of overlap time between my leases so that I could be a little bit more stress-free. And I'm very, very, very excited about it. I'm, I'm so excited. Like, I have I obviously did the video where I showed all of my tours that I did and I didn't reveal which apartment that I got um, because I wanna do like a full empty apartment tour and just get everything settled. Like, I wanna wait till I have those keys in my hand. Um, but today is finally the day that I get to go get my keys. I get to see it without like painters there. It's got a deep clean, like everything is, should be ready to go and I can't wait to walk in there like, well, I don't own it, but you know, like it's mine. So I'm gonna go get the keys today and just kind of have a moment to myself and just get excited and then um, have some errands to run and then we're gonna pack the car and head to the Hampton. Here's my little outfit. I'm gonna go walk to my new apartment. This top is from Live By Active and this skirt is Spanx. I Love it. Kind of wish I packed it for the Hamptons now, but it's gonna be dirty. <laughs> um, I'm just wearing some little New Balance sneakers, slicked back my hair, and we're gonna go get the keys to my new apartment. I'm so excited. Like, I'm just, I just know I'm gonna get there. It says that they left it with the doorman. I know I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna be like, keys for Danielle? And they're gonna be like, what? I don't have your keys. Like, I just know, I just know. But let me not manifest that. Let's go, I'm so excited. You guys, I just got here, I got the keys. The doorman was like, oh, you're the new tenant. Nice to meet you, he shook out his hand. I, I'm so awkward, I was like, we're gonna be besties. Like, and he just laughed, like all he did was <laughs> But he was so nice, like he put out his hand, shook his hand, I cannot wait. And it's like, I go in, in here because there's nothing in here. I'm so excited. I'm gonna film an empty apartment tour right now. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.